When Robin Hood fought Little John, it was with the quarterstaff, which assured its place in English history and legend. Modern day Little Johns are still playing with sticks, in West London at least. The first thing to learn in quarterstaffing is how to flourish. I'm lost. No, I'm not. Hold on. Here we go. So, back. That's right. Drop. That's right. Twist it around. Yes, that's it. It's all about mind-body coordination, keeping it together. Just a little... Oh! <laughs> um, why do people do this? Well, you can see it's great fun hitting other people. You haven't got round to that yet, but we'll have you hitting other people shortly. It teaches you about strength, it teaches you about coordination, coordination of the body and the mind, mm -hmm. and it gives you confidence in the way you move, the way you are. And this is quite a traditional sport, isn't it? Yeah, the quarterstaff is kind of the, the fighting implement of the common man. It goes back way into so, medieval yeah. times and beyond. Why is it, you know, we're all boys here apart from me. Well, we normally only teach um, in a men's group. We don't teach mixed sex groups normally. So, for the time being at least, quarter staffing's just for merry men and made Marians must watch from the sidelines. Except for me. Why am I doing this? Why are you doing this? Yeah. It's, it's to work on your peripheral vision. In quarter staff combat, the staff will be quicker than the eye. Be so, you're not now. looking at the staff, but you can catch it. So, uh, what, what does that tell you? Tells me that it works. <laughs> <laughs> Something's working. The basis of quarter staff in combat is a sequence of 12 moves. Head. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Three. Rib. Four. Rib. Ankle. Five. Oh, oh. Six. Other ankle. <laughs> Lunge. What's that mean? Stomach. Eight. Oh, you lunge, mean like Lunge into the stomach. Oh, like that? No, 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 it's a lunge. Oh, you mean go for you? Yeah, yeah. You mean like that? Yeah. Oh, right, cool. It's working for my head all the time, so it's nice to go out and hit people. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just nice to use your body, and it's, it's a lot about not thinking and just acting, so... <laughs> so what do you get out of this, anyway? Well, it's a good way to get some exercise and develop some coordination. Yeah, but there are other things that you can do to develop coordination, and, you know... A chap all the way from Canada coming here to learn something that's sort of quintessentially English. <laughs> well, it's... I suppose it's like cricket. <laughs> Bigger yeah. sticks. I think there are skills that, you know, people do lose and, and men do need to reinvent themselves in, in, in a way that in the corner of something quite traditional in, in the male psyche. And I think people what lose What is that. it? What is that thing in the male the, psyche? The male psyche is a complicated thing and it needs... It has... It it's controlled aggression. It's controlled aggression. I think that's what gives that man a bit of an edge. And that's what it's about. It's just getting down to being yourself. You need that, you need that energy channeled somehow, don't you? Otherwise it all goes astray. 